Soldiers of the invading Russian army have shot own fellow soldiers from another military unit in Okratino settlement near the city of Avdiivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The incident occurred as Russian invaders mistook their fellow soldiers for the soldiers of the Russian Volunteer Corps fighting within the Ukrainian army. The incident that took place on April 7 was publicized by relatives of the killed servicemen, after which the report was circulated on telegram channels. Entering the position, Russian soldiers immediately opened fire without clarifying the identity of the soldiers standing in front of them. Then they took pictures of the killed soldiers, describing them as enemies. The review of the documents belonging to the soldiers revealed that those killed were soldiers of the Russian army. Сейчас я отвечу видео сниму. Они украины. U.S. may send additional military advisors to Ukraine. The U.S. believes that Russia appears to be gaining momentum in the two-year conflict. They are considering the possibility of sending additional military advisors to the embassy in Kiev, reports Politico. Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder stated that advisors would not have a combat role but would advise and support the Ukrainian government and armed forces. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted the U.S. presence in Ukraine as security conditions change. We are currently considering the possibility of sending several additional advisors to enhance the Defense Cooperation Office at the Embassy, Ryder said in a statement to Politico. Ryder added that the office performs various advisory and support missions that are non-combat in nature. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted our presence in-country as security conditions have evolved. Currently, we are considering sending several additional advisors to augment the Office of Defense Cooperation at the Embassy, Ryder said. The number of personnel in the Office of Defense Cooperation is not disclosed for security reasons. Anonymous sources told Politico that the office's tasks include monitoring the weaponry sent by the U.S. to Ukraine. The additional troops will support logistics and oversight efforts for the weapons the U.S. is sending Ukraine, according to four U.S. officials and a person familiar with the plans who were granted anonymity to speak about a sensitive topic, the sources said. Two American officials have stated that the Office of Defense Cooperation will provide security for the embassy. Their number could reach 60. Those personnel are helping with oversight and embassy security. It was not clear how many additional U.S. troops would ultimately be sent to Ukraine, but two of the U.S. officials said the number would be up to 60, Politico's sources said. Recall on April the 20th, the U.S. House of Representatives approved aid to Ukraine. The total amount of the aid bill to Ukraine is $60.84 billion. The bill will now be sent to the U.S. Senate for consideration. President Joe Biden has called on the Senate to quickly send the bill to him for signing. Russians may step up attacks using time before U.S. aid arrives for Ukraine. ISW warns experts from the Institute for the Study of War ISW suggest that the Russians may intensify their attacks using a window before the arrival of new U.S. security assistance to Ukraine. Recall on the 20th of April, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a supplemental appropriations bill that would provide about 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine. The bill now needs to be approved by the Senate and signed by the President before the aid can be delivered. These requirements, as well as the logistics of getting U.S. aid to the front line in Ukraine, are likely to mean that the aid will not start to have an impact on the battlefield for several weeks. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new U.S. aid, the report says. The analysts note that Ukrainian forces may suffer additional setbacks in the coming weeks as they await U.S. security assistance to allow Ukraine to stabilize the front. However, the Ukrainian troops are likely to be able to halt the current Russian offensive if renewed U.S. aid arrives quickly. The report adds, the threat 
of an operationally significant Russian advance in the coming weeks remains, although the Ukrainian command may have more latitude to take short-term risks with dwindling supplies to prevent such an advance once it knows that more material will be arriving soon. Experts suggest that the Russians are likely to intensify offensive operations and missile and drone strikes in the coming weeks to take advantage of the closing window due to Ukrainian material constraints. In addition, Russian troops are continuing and in some areas have intensified offensive operations likely to take advantage of abnormally dry spring conditions and the ongoing shortage of Ukrainian supplies before the arrival of promised Western security assistance. At the same time, experts point out that Russian troops have achieved only tactical successes over the past six months of a deteriorating situation in Ukraine and are likely to achieve a breakthrough that would make the front line collapse.